I just received word that the preparations for battle are almost complete. Then it appears we made it in time. Rosaluna, this is all because of you. We cannot thank you enough. I merely did what Annie would have done. Now all we need is an indication of when the Realm Scourge will awaken. Indeed, for that would enable us to take the initiative. They say it rests in the forest south of here. That is correct. But as to where it will head once it becomes active again, we have no idea. It would be ideal if we could keep it contained within the woods and make that our battlefield. Which would spare the nearby villages of any harm. Exactly. And who might you be? Allow me to introduce them. This here is Titus. And this is Tyrell. Two young men to whom Horn owes a great debt. They helped keep Lady Venera safe from the arms dealer's guild. Is that so? Then thank you. You have my appreciations as well. Uh, I, uh... It, it was nothing. Now, I must ask, what brings you two here? We have something we need to tell King Mott. <sighs> what is it? Queen Mashari has gone into labor. What? Uh, is that true? Congratulations, Your Majesty! My dear Mashari. You should return to Horn Castle immediately, King Mont. Her Highness will be needing you. Uh, if only I could. Your Majesty, you can leave matters here to us. Our preparations are all but complete. We will not allow that thing to run rampage this time. a request from us as well. We will stay here and help everyone in the coming battle. Uh, not that we mean to imply we could ever possibly replace King Mont, but still. We just want to play our part and be of use to people. So, if you'll have us. <sighs> Your Majesty. If you all insist, thank you. Then time is of the essence. I'm sure Queen Ma Cherie would feel better off with you by her side, Your Majesty. Frederica! What's the matter? The Realm Scourge has awoken! What did you say? Darling is currently facing off against the monstrosity all on his own! <sighs> Trust him to be utterly reckless. He thought we needed more time for our preparations here in Ovis, so he's trying to keep it preoccupied. Then that settles it. I can no longer return to Horn. We must hurry to dispatch all our forces, and march to Engelbert's aid! No, King Mont. You head back to Horn. But... Let us take care of this. We do not know how the Realm Scourge will act. It could head this way, towards Ovis, or off somewhere entirely different. Indeed. Which means someone needs to go and inform Horn that our foe has awoken. King Mont, you need not worry. Please, go home to Horn. Everyone, I... 
All right then, I shall head back as planned. But promise me you shall not engage the enemy recklessly. I shall hurry back as soon as I am able. You have our word. Guard! King Mon shall be requiring a chocobo post haste. As you wish, my lord. Now, ride swiftly, your majesty. Thank you all. I shall return soon. Our preparations to deploy shall soon be complete. As for you, Frederica... I don't suppose it would be okay for me to leave ahead of you and go to Darling's side. Hmm... Actually, that may be a wise course of action. What? Really? We are talking about Engelbert here. He will undoubtedly try to hold his ground right until the moment we arrive. Your presence on the battlefield, however, would likely give him reason to withdraw in order to ensure your safety. We can only hope so. Worry not. But let us have some soldiers accompany you. But I'll be fine on my own. Even so, I insist. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Fish Engelbert out of the fire for us. I will. The chocobos will be ready for you outside. Oh, and when you disengage the Realm Scourge, do not feel you must return to Ovis Castle. Determine which way the enemy is headed, then make for somewhere you think will be safe. Got it. Okay. I'm off then. Engelbert, you had better return in one piece. This monstrosity is far beyond anything I had imagined. I can see why even Oberon was no match for it. Deep down, a part of me actually believed that I could hold it at bay. Yet, now I wonder, did Oberon truly fight it on his own? How is one supposed to go against this monstrosity head-on and live to tell the tale? Despite being called the Wall of Horn, it would surely crush me like an afterthought if I engaged it properly. Is that laughter? <laughs> Not even phased by my presence, I see. I guess you plan to finish me off soon, huh? I hate to break it to you, but I do not intend to die here today. Frederica will soon be returning with reinforcements from Ova's castle. All I need to do is keep you busy until then! Where exactly do you think you're off to? That is a straight path back in the woods where the Realm Scourge awaits. Do not tell me you wish to go back in there. Would it be strange if I did? Huh? Would it be strange if I, you know, 
Wanted to take another look? Well, you always say you like a bit of fun, so I would hardly say that it's out of character. But it might be a little outlandish, even for you. Uh. But don't get me wrong, I do not mean to criticize you. It's just that where you go, I also go, remember? I feel something emanating from that forest, a strong feeling of sadness. A feeling of sadness? Like that of all the souls killed by the realm scourge? I don't think that's it. Not sure whose sadness it is, but I sure can feel it. <sighs> what are those creatures? Fair enough. Let us make quick work of them and go check out those woods again. You ready? In the scent of blood. There is no doubt in it. It seems the Realm Scourge has woken up. Uh, hold on a moment! I have a feeling the battle that took place here isn't over. But who in the heavens could it be? <sighs> what is wrong? Foul monstrosity! What happened to that cocky laugh? You face but one puny man, yet you struggle to destroy him! They say you consume the souls of those who fall to you. Do you wish to feast on me? Come on, answer me! You will never get the chance to have your fill. Reinforcements shall be arriving soon. That will mean the end of you! They'll be here soon. Just a little longer. Spotting more of your foul brood? This is starting to feel like a worn-out parlor trick! Your spawn shall never break through the Wall of Horde! Blazes are you? Oh, look who we have here. If it isn't the com commander of Solidus himself. <laughs> First time for you to have the pleasure of our acquaintance, is it? Then let me introduce ourselves. Victora at your service. 
And this is my partner in crime, Luartha. The two of you were with Wazette. You seem to be mistaken. The two of us ditched Wazette well before that little war wrapped itself up. <laughs> but let's not dwell on the past, shall we? We have more pressing matters to deal with in the present. Oh, and if you wish to express your gratitude, you may thank Luartha, not me. Why is that? She sensed a great sadness emanating from these woods. A great sadness? I don't think it was you, though. I would hope not. But in any case, you arrived at the right time. For that, you have my thanks. My, aren't you rather straightforward? <laughs> I like that in a man. Rika, why did you come back here? It's okay. I've told the others all about this. Wait, who are these two? They came to my aid just now. Oh, okay. Now that the cavalry has arrived, it seems you won't be needing our assistance any further. I guess we shall take our leave, then. <sighs> that strong sense of sadness... It's coming from the Realm Scourge. Amnalis? Luatha? Huh? What is Amnalis supposed to mean? What? Is that someone's name? I have no idea. I'm not sure why, but it just welled up from within me. <sighs> well, if it's important, I'm sure it will come to you in time. Why mull over it now? Besides, there is a nice big church waiting for us to fleece it. <sighs> Until we meet again. Darling, you did well. The others will be here any moment now. That is... a relief. The Realm Scourge isn't looking this way. What shall we do, darling? I guess it is no longer interested in finishing what I started. I wonder if it has realized the rest of our forces' approach. I can still fight! Oh, no you don't! You've suffered enough already! Let's get as far away from here as we can. There are chocobos ready and waiting for us. Come on, this way! Lady Melnia? Mm. I sense murderous intent. Lady Melnia, what is it that I sense? Simulacra. Simulacra? What does that mean?
Lady Shurek is the voice. I can no longer hear it. Does this mean my mission is over? Lady Melnia, what is it you speak of? Would you like to know? Yes, my lady. Then I will tell you. But first, we need to overcome this tribulation. What tribulation? No matter what manner of enemy appears before you, fight without hesitation. Understood? Yes, my lady. Here they come. L lady Malnia. Do not hesitate. <laughs> you have lost your edge. We were going easy on you, yet that is all you are capable of? 4006. That is 4006 Alpha to you. Why are you here? I had not heard of any simulacra being dispatched. You had not heard because you were not enabled to hear. What? There is no need to feign a lack of understanding. You are no longer required. And you know it. I will not allow you to insult Lady Melnia. Stand down, Renel. But, my lady... Are these Lady Shureka's orders? Affirmative. The cocoon of light has awoken. No thanks to you. You have erred time and again only to have been saved by blind chance. Lady Shuruka decided that she could no longer entrust the matter to your hands. You shall most likely be stripped of the Melnia designation as well. The Melnia designation? <laughs> Apart from us here, presently two other squads of Simulacra have been dispatched to these lands. Our mission is to secure Masachika's Mornblade. You just sit back and watch. I shall be designated Melnia next. I know what you shall not admit. You are unable to hear Lady Shureka's voice, and your healing capabilities are degrading. What can you possibly hope to achieve in your miserable state? You will not locate the Six Swords. I shall obtain the Morn Blade and protect my name. How very interesting. We shall soon see just who is the superior simulacra. Lady Melnia. How long do you intend to hide in the shadows? I have known for a good while now that you have been trailing me. Having realized that, why did you not attempt to flee? A lack of fundamental self-preservation instincts? Or something else? What is it you want from me? What is that attire you wear? This is the traditional dress of my homeland. As I suspected. And by that you mean... That you are from the Sanctuary. Your sacred land. 
There is no use denying it. If you know that much, then I presume you are seeking the Mournblade. Am I not mistaken? If that is the case, then I had best deal with you sooner rather than later. Huh. I sense but one soul, yet there are three vessels. I see now. You are constructs designed by someone's hand. Oh, so you can tell? I should tell you that capturing me will not help you locate the Mournblade. We do not care. <laughs> if we slay you here, the chances of 1203 succeeding will further decrease. 1203? What is your connection to Melnia? Do not conflate us with that failure. I assumed you must be Melnia's comrades, but it appears I was mistaken. The Constructs are fighting over recognition. I see. The puzzle has its pieces. This has been a most enlightening conversation. Now then. I have somewhere I must be. So let us get this over and done with. <laughs> you think you can take us? Quite the bold attitude given it is three against one. Yes? Mont! Mushri! Not so loud, Mont. My love. Welcome home. I was starting to think you might not make it back. My dear Mushri. Mont. Thank you, Glacella. Believe me, it was Mashuri who did all the work. Look, you have a healthy baby boy. Mashuri and I have a child. Thank you, little one. The world is a terrible place, but you have already made it better. Allow me to introduce you to someone else. This is my sister-in-law, Venera. Then... You were the wife of the late Prince Dario? Venera, at your service, my lord. Our men were able to rescue her from the clutches of the Arms Dealers Guild. But that's not all. Venera had also given birth to my brother's heir. 
Is that so? I am so happy for you. Truly. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. Are you leaving already? I must. The Realm Scourge has awoken. Uh. After seeing me off here, everyone else went on to face the monstrosity. I am so sorry, but I need to hurry back to them. Then do what must be done, so that you can return to hold our baby once more. Yes, I promise. I will come back to both of you alive and well. I shall join the fight as well. No, I would rather you remain here in the castle. We do not know where the Realm Scourge may head next. You do not suppose it will head here? It is not beyond the realm of possibility. And keep in mind that Horn has dispatched not only Solidus, but Nitor as well, to Ovis. Understood. Then I shall stay here, and protect Mashari and everyone else. I am counting on you. Lady Venera, please look after Mashari for me. But of course... What is it? A report, your highnesses! Lord Engelbert and Lady Frederica have returned! It appears Lord Engelbert is direly wounded! That cannot be! Worry not about us. You should go check on Engelbert. I shall. What was he thinking? Trying to face the Realm Scourge alone? I agree. It was a bit reckless, even for him. But in any case, I am relieved to hear his wounds do not warrant grave concern. Now I can continue my course for Ovis Castle as planned. Understood, Your Majesty. Please be safe. Give Engelbert my appreciations. Of course. The Realm Scourge is heading this way! So it has finally made its move. What of Lord Engelbert? We heard he did battle against it. We have confirmation that he and Lady Frederica have withdrawn from the forest the Realm Scourge was in. That's good to know. We cannot be sure what the Realm Scourge's true destination is. But that said, we cannot stand by idly and wait to see what it does. I guess it's finally time for us to take to the field, then. You can leave the front line to the forces of Ovis. <laughs> Why Ovis? This is our land. It is our duty to defend it with our lives. <laughs> Allow us to fight beside you.
Lady Rosaluna. My people already have experience fighting the Realm Scourge. I would say we are most suited to the task. You would supply us not only with weapons, but lend yourselves to our fight as well? We shall never defeat the monstrosity unless we all stand together. That settles it. There is no time to spare. Prepare to deploy immediately. We will be ready. <laughs>